Hi everybody and welcome to today's church service. My name is Imogen and I'm going to be your host for today. I hope you're really excited to see what we're going to learn about today and see all the activities that we're going to do. I know I am so super excited, okay? So first of all, we are going to have an object lesson with Oliver. We're living in a time where technology has made some incredible things possible. You can log on to the internet and have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone on the other side of the world. You could make a movie with realistic looking dinosaurs. But none of these technical advances compare with what God can do with this seed. This tiny apple seed is all God needs to grow a tree that would be covered in branches and leaves and then apples which would be filled with more seeds to plant even more trees. God is the original creator. He created an incredible world just for us. Wouldn't it be a shame if we never looked away from the technology we have to take note of how beautiful his creation is? This week, take some time to appreciate the world that God's given us. Thank him for the sun and the rain. Thank him for the land and the sea. Thank him for the creatures of the earth and the plants that surround us. We live in an amazing world. Let's give God the praise that he deserves for making such a beautiful place. Well done, Oliver, for that amazing object lesson. Thank you. We loved it. Now, get ready, because next up we have Joseph with our craft. First, fold the paper in half both ways so you have a cross in the middle. Then fold the corners together so you have another cross. This should be 8 sections. Once that's done bring the two sides to the middle of the bottom of the paper. So that it forms a triangle. Press it down so it forms a crease. Then bring each corners of the triangle to the top then press down on each side. Now open it back up and take the top corner and take it down to the bottom and form a crease. Then bring the top sheet up and push the corners to the top of the paper and fold. Then fold it down to the bottom. Then take the bottom part and fold it in half to the center line. Then open up each flap and push each side down so it forms a crease. Then take the remaining corners and fold them into the center. You then want to take each of the corners you've made and fold them into the middle.
Finally you want to take the section you've just finished and fold it back up and you've completed the bookmark. This has been a voice recorded message by yours truly the best Joseph. Please like comment and share with your friends. And subscribe to ECCI Kids. Thank you Joseph for that amazing craft and well done guys for giving it your best shot. I'm sure you've done a really good job. Now next up, we are going to have worship. And then straight after that, we are going to have the message from the one and only Jordan. So you guys are in for a treat, okay? Let's go. There's no way you won't go. Nothing you won't do. No place that I could hide. You're always in pursuit. I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me and you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop, never gonna stop chasing me You made a way for me In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth From the grass and the trees to toenail clippings and bogies God created it all But have we ever stopped to think What does that actually mean? Ah yes The moon I wonder if we look closer if we'll be able to see Vector dancing. But enough of that. When I look at our planet, only a few emojis come to my face. Like this one, and this one, and sometimes this one. And only a few words come to mind to describe our world. Wonderful, awesome, a masterpiece. What word would you use to describe our world? Oh yes, if I had wings right now, I'd enjoy them with chips. I love chicken wings. Oh, show yourself! Um, on a serious note, to the vast valleys, to the tallest trees, to the smallest flower that gives us beauty, and the burning sun hotter than anger's head. Eat this! If you step away from your phones and TV shows, and you open your eyes and look around, you'll realize how beautiful the world that God created really is. God is the reason that we... God is the reason that we have a place to call home. God is the reason we have food to eat as he is the one who created the plants and animals that we get our food from. God is the reason we have water to drink, as he is the one who created the oceans and the seas. Our clothes were made from plants that grow out of the ground, and the air we breathe come from the trees and the waters. Even the phone and gadgets that you use were made from materials from the earth that God created. In short, Everything you own, everything you have, the reason why you are alive is because God created you. At this moment in time, I would like you to pause the video and name me five things that God has created. If you need to pause the video and rewind, you are free to do so. Welcome back. I've got a question to ask you. What is the best present you have ever received? 
I remember watching Toy Story 3 when Andy gave his toys to Bonnie. And when he gets Woody away, and he goes, Sorry about that. I have a second question for you. When we receive a gift, what do we say? We say, thank you. Even if our present is socks, we say thank you. Even if our present is an avocado, we say thank you. Even if our present is a princess tiara with the name Jordan on it, because your auntie still thinks that you're a girl and they can't spell your name, we say thank you. And if we say thank you for these things, we should also say thank you to the God who created this amazing world and shown us how amazing his love is for us. Psalm 36 verse 5 says, Lord, your faithful love reaches to the sky. Your faithfulness is as high as the clouds. So next time you see the amazing beauty of the world, you see the big mountains and the vast oceans, remember that God's love for you is bigger and more amazing. And every single day of our lives, we should say, thank you. Thank you, Jordan, for an amazing message. And it's such an important message as well. So thank you for that. We appreciate you. Now, guys, I hope you have really enjoyed today's service. It's been packed with fun we've learned loads and i hope you've been able to just learn more about god and maybe even hear his voice so i hope you've had an amazing week of half term and i hope that as we go back to our online learning that you guys have a really good week too and we'll see you next sunday bye